is just... So these are your February favorites? They are. Did you do a January? Nope. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites, and before I start, I don't know what background to use while I'm in um, living in my sorority house. Like, you guys have seen my room, there's not that many places, so let me know if this one's okay, or if you want me to find a different one, because I know that can be, like, a huge, like, thing. So... Yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to get right into my favorites for this past month. So I'm going to begin with, I guess, beauty favorites. And these are all kind of random, and I feel like I've mentioned some of them already. But I thought I would just re-mention them because I've been loving them that much. So I'm going to start out with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And this is like the best eyeshadow palette I've ever purchased. It's definitely my most used. The shadows are so beautiful and pigmented and just like I like every makeup look I do even if it's like on my friends or whatever I always reach for this palette next up I have a face powder and I've talked about Milani face powders before I had, I had a different like version this one's the multitasker face powder and this one is definitely my favorite so it just looks like this um, it has, it's like the one with the see-through screen. There's also one that you can't see through it. I don't know. So right now I have it in light tan. And it also comes with like one of these guys and a mirror. But it's just an awesome face powder. It really gets you like that matte smooth look. And it's just the best one that I've ever found. Plus it's from the drugstore. Next for contouring, I actually have been reaching for my Wet n Wild contouring palette. Even more than my Kat Von D one, I think. Maybe it's just because, like, in my head, I'm like, I don't want to use up the Kat Von D one because it's so expensive. This one is just super awesome. The Both of the colors are so, like, creamy, especially this banana shade. It's like, I don't know, they just feel so nice. They're so pigmented, and it's just everything you need. And the bronzer is, like, dark enough. I don't know. Sometimes I like really dark bronzers, so I really love that. And they're both matte, by the way. Next I have this, I've just been using this little sample of this NARS Illuminator. Uh, yeah, it's an orgasm, but it's just like the ones that like, they're just like a little paste and you squirt them out. You're not going to be able to see anything I'm doing. But they just add kind of a sheen. And I don't actually use these for like highlight or anything. I've actually been using it to just to put along like my collarbone uh, when I'm wearing like a low cut top or I wore like a strapless um, jumpsuit and I put it all over there and it just makes you look like you're like shimmering and I've been loving to do that just every time that I go out and stuff. Next up I have this lipstick which I get so many questions on which lipstick I'm wearing in videos and it's like mostly always this one. I'm just so obsessed with it. It's World by MAC and usually I have it linked in the description bar but you can probably assume that it's this lipstick. And I literally got this before Christmas and I've already used like a lot of it so I will definitely be repurchasing this, but I'm obsessed with it. Then I have two kind of like skincare favorites, I guess. So my first one is to, this is like maybe TMI, but it really works. So I had to share it with you guys. I really like using deodorant after you go in the shower on your like bikini area if you shave. I've never had something take away razor bumps so well as literally putting like deodorant in sides of your legs and stuff. It works so well and I don't understand it. I know it's like not good probably because this has like aluminum in it or whatever. But yeah, definitely give it a try if you've had like trouble with that in the past. My next body favorite is this Aveda Caribbean Therapy Flower Water and I spray this on my face every night before I go to bed and it's just like really calming and soothing. It has like um a floral, a slight floral scent and I actually have no idea but I just really like um, facial sprays. I've actually been using them for kind of a long time but this one is my favorite of the moment. I have some random favorites. So for food favorites, I have three food favorites this month. First one is black coffee. I have been a avid tea drinker for like probably the past like six months or so. I've only been drinking tea and I still have like a glass of tea a day but I just find myself needing the caffeine more so I like to start off my morning with a cup of black coffee and I don't put any cream or sugar in it. If you kind of like train yourself to like it, it's not that hard to do. So I've been loving doing that. Two, with that in the morning I have been obsessed with oatmeal recently and if you don't like oatmeal, I really suggest putting in like peanut butter. I put in a teaspoon of peanut butter, some cinnamon, and then like cut up apples. And it's so good that way because the apples are like a crunch and they kind of break up the texture of oatmeal if that's your problem with it. So that's like my go-to breakfast right now. It's so filling, really healthy, and 
easy. It's in my sorority house. I can get it every day. So that's been my favorite breakfast. And then finally my favorite snack has been dipping popcorn like unsalted, unbuttered um, in hot sauce. So again, it's a really healthy snack option, but I'm actually obsessed with it. It's the perfect thing to snack on while you're studying, and it's honestly not bad for you at all. Without like the salt and the butter on the popcorn, which you don't even need because you're like already like getting your flavor from somewhere else, popcorn really isn't bad for you at all. And then hot sauce is actually I think good for you. It like speeds up your metabolism or something. But yeah, so that's been like my favorite snack. Shout out to my roommate Katie who made me try it and now like I'm addicted to it. And then finally I have a TV show, two TV show favorites of the month. And the first is How to Get Away with Murder. I started the, like it, uh, watching it on Netflix, I wanna say like right when I got back to school. And it is the best show ever. Like it's kinda scary, but I'm like a huge scaredy cat and I can do it. So you can too, go watch it, it's amazing. And then obviously The Bachelor I've been obsessed with, so comment down below on, on who you guys think are, is going to win. I like want JoJo too, but I think Lauren B is going to, so I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.